write down the heading monosaccharides this is the most important what are monosaccharides these are the single unit of carbohydrates unit of carbohydrates which cannot be broken down which cannot be broken down into into lower sugar on hydrolysis monosaccharides are those compounds which contains 3 to 9 carbon atoms okay so it contains here only i write down 3 to 9 carbon atoms minimum 3 maximum 9 okay general formula there are, there are actually two types of monosaccharides also the first one is aldose and the second one is ketose aldose are those uh monosaccharides which has aldehyde as primary functional group because we have seen monosaccharides the examples of monosaccharides are what and glucose fructose we have right so fructose we have um, ketone as a primary functional group and glucose we have aldehyde as a primary functional group that's why we have two types of monosaccharides aldose whose primary functional groups are aldehyde ketones whose primary functional groups are ketone pfg is ketone here okay here the general formula of aldose is ch o c h o h n and we have c h 2 o h this is the general formula can you tell me the possible values of n ha huh. what is the possible value of n can you tell me like i said here that the maximum number of carbon atom is 9 and minimum number is 3 so possible value of n is what One n can be 1 2 7 this is the possible value of n so okay. wait why is that restriction what happens if it's more than 7 what is a carbon atom it is a monosaccharide it is monosaccharides right see it's it's is just a fact observation because the definition of monosaccharides are what which cannot be broken down into a smaller aldehyde or ketone polyhydroxy so if the for that we have a given set of uh, you know compounds if the number of carbon atom is more than 9 then it can be hydrolyzed because the size is too big that is one of the reason so the so carbon bond gets hydrolyzed hydrolysis takes place over there see actually what happens if the chain is if the compound is too big right because there is a, you know a, a polarity in the molecule because we have oxygen hydrogen bond oxygen carbon bond so if that if the you know the compound is too big then the lone pair of the oxygen may attack onto the carbon atom which is a which is a slightly positive charge that will discuss in sohart's position of this okay so for monosaccharides the number of carbon atom is maximum 
and less than 3 is not possible because it must be polyhydroxy that's why the condition is for monosaccharides more than 9 carbon atom is not stable they dissociate into the smaller molecule that's why they are not monosaccharides okay so here you see if uh, n is equals to 1 I'll write down if this. If n is equals to one, what is the formula we get here? CHOH, CHO, CH2OH, right? So this molecule, the general name of this, we call it as aldo triose. Why triose? Because the number of carbon atom is three here. Okay. Aldo triose, which is nothing but glycerol dehyde if you see the formula it is glycerol dehyde only okay so aldo triose is nothing but glycerol dehyde this question also they have asked in the exam because the number of carbon atom is three if n is equals to two what is the general name of this compound it is aldo tetrose because the number of carbon atom is four if n is equals to three Number of carbon atom is 5. It is aldo pentose. pentose. N is equals to 4. It is aldo hexose. Aldo hexose is nothing but what? Nothing but glucose. Deviations of glucose. So that's why this name is also very important. Aldo hexose. The another name of glucose. So not only glucose, right? Different variations of it. Sorry? It's not only glucose, it can be different variations of it. Yes, that is possible, but general thing is... Galactose and all that. Yeah, yeah, that is also possible. It will be optical isomers of each other. Optically active it is, yeah. All these carbohydrates are optically active. Not just opt optical isomers, Shavan. Optical isomers of... Nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay, fine, 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 fine. Okay, now this is the no. So, so glucose belongs to which family? Aldose family. That you, this you must remember. Glucose belongs to aldose family. Fructose belongs to ketose family, right? So similarly, you see for ketose, the general formula for ketose in the next page, I'll write down. General formula is. CH2OH, then we have C double bond O, the primary functional group, and here we have CHOH N, and here we have CH2OH. The possible value of N here is 0 to 6, minimum 0, maximum 6, because again, the number of carbon atom is minimum 3 and maximum 9. Okay, that's why 0 to 6 is possible. So if n is equals to 0, there are 3 carbon atom and we call it as keto keto triose triose. n is equals to 1, it is keto tetrose. n is equals to 2, it is keto hexose. Okay. And this is nothing but fructose. fructose. Sir, why does the C double bond O need to be right after the CH2OH? Can it be in the middle of the chain? No, it is here only that for uh, for that region, we need to understand the structure elucidation of glucose. How do we come to know that there is only five hydroxy group? There is a uh, principal functional groups, aldehyde, not ketone in glucose. So for that, we need to understand the structure elucidation. For the that, again, we have some reactions. Right? That, so that we'll discuss. We'll discuss the that. Keto pentose, like, because NH2 is... Keto pentose. So there is a series of experiment to, you know, define the structure of glucose and fructose. So not all, but there are three, four things which is there in our syllabus that we'll discuss. Okay. Like, for example, you can also ask, sir, why only five hydroxy group is there? Why in glucose we have aldehyde, not ketone, functional group. So for that we have some reactions. We'll discuss that later. So you missed keto. Huh? 
Miss Keto Pentos. Keto Pentos. Keto Pentos. If n is equals to three, n is equals to what? Uh, so we'll tie you. So you miss Keto Pentos. So oh, I miss Keto Pentos. No. So it will be zero one. Two is what? Two is Pentos. Sorry. Pentos. Sorry. Is two is Keto Pentos and three is Keto Hexos. That is fructose. So correct it. So this one is Keto Pentos, five carbon atom. And when is n is equals to three, it is keto hexose, and that is glu, that is fructose. So fructose belongs to this family, keto hexose. Okay, so this is two things that we need to understand. Now in glucose, there are the most important part that we were discussing here is the structure elucidation of glucose. How do we come to know about the structure of glucose so for that we have a series of reactions we'll see that okay it is uh, not that important to understand uh, like for a school exam and all but for competitive exam two three things you should know about this uh, you know reaction so that's what we are going to discuss here the complete thing we are not going to see it is not there in our syllabus okay the first thing you write down glucose heading you write down glucose which is also known as dextrose heading you write down the first thing glucose and the other name of glucose is dextrose also sir the only the d form of glucose yeah because naturally it occurs in this form only that's why we are calling it as dextrose so naturally all of these occur in d form only right yeah mainly mainly So why we calling it as dextrose because it occurs in the nature as optically active optically active d isomer that's why it is um dextrose okay preparation is what preparation of this is not important i'll just write down two reaction here like we know in laboratory it is prepared by the hydrolysis of cane sugar which is nothing but sucrose so in laboratory by hydrolysis of sucrose reaction is we have sucrose plus h2o acidic hydrolysis in alcoholic medium it gives glucose one unit of glucose and fructose okay in large scale it is prepared by large scale it is prepared by the hydrolysis of starch starch is c6h12 O six, and like this we have n units of this. Plus H two O H plus. It gives glucose with n unit of C six H twelve O six. This is the preparation method we have, which is obviously not that important. But structure elucidation, there are two three things which is important here to understand. and that will discuss next all of you copy sir, down this sir how do we separate the fructose what how do we separate the fructose uh from glucose mixture of fructose it is very difficult uh, to uh, you know um uh, separate but uh, there is so a fractional distillation huh? so fractional distillation 
ha ha that is uh, also you can use but for we don't use fractional distillation for this um, uh, separation but um, uh, we use like uh, uh, there is a equilibrium mixture we have uh, but there's a method see i am not getting that name um glucose mannose and fructose Uh, Sir, so, um, is there any way by which we can exploit the fact that glucose has an aldehyde group and K fructose only has a keto? Glucose has an aldehyde group, while ketose, huh? while um, fructose is a ketose. It only has a keto group, so we can exploit that fact, right? Yeah, you can. But the thing is, like I said, uh, see, fructose having ketone functional group, but it shows. Tollens reagent test because some part of it shows tautomerism and it converts into glucose also. That's why I said it's difficult to separate the two mixture of glucose and fructose. Even we have an equilibrium in glucose, mannose, and fructose. So when you take fructose, automatically it converts into glucose also and mannose also. So it is difficult. Generally, distillation thing and all we use where we have difference in boiling point. Where we have large difference in boiling point, there we use distillation method. Okay, so for here we use some different method. I forgot the name. Okay, I will tell you that name uh, later. But the point is, since fructose converts into glucose and mannose, and there is an equilibrium in three molecules: glucose, mannose, and fructose. So that's why this mixture is difficult to separate. But we have methods. We can do that. Okay, distillation is. Uh, you know, costly also. That's why we don't use this solution for this purpose. Method, I'll tell you the name of that. I forgot the name. I'll tell you. Okay. 